Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use a VPN, otherwise known as a virtual private network. A VPN can maximize your online privacy, help you gain access to geographically restricted content, and avoid throttling restrictions from your internet provider. You can follow these steps and find more tips from our VPN editorial experts on our sister sites linked in the description of this video. The first step is to install a VPN app on your device, create an account, and then sign in. You can find VPNs in an app store or online via a download installer. For this video, I'm gonna use a free trial of ExpressVPN, which also happens to be CNET's editor's choice for best VPN overall, as well as PCMag's best for complete VPN experience. There are tons of VPNs to choose from, all with different characteristics, including versatility, speed, and value. So I've provided some links featuring the best VPNs from our tech sites in the description as well. Now that you've created an account and signed in, step two is to select a VPN server. If you want a fast connection, it's best to select a server that is closest to your location. After you've selected your server, enable your VPN by pressing connect. Other VPNs might use different language for starting and connecting. Now your VPN should be running and masking your public IP address and your internet traffic should be encrypted. This means that websites, applications, government authorities, and your internet service provider cannot view your IP address, which displays information about your ISP as well as your general geographical location. We recommend toggling on your VPN's kill switch, which cuts off your internet connection in case your VPN gets unexpectedly disconnected. This can prevent your public IP address from leaking and your internet traffic being exposed. You'll typically enable the kill switch in your VPN settings menu, but this can vary by provider. If you're traveling out of the country, a VPN could help you access your regular online destinations and streaming services as if you're still at home. This means you can access your streaming services like Apple TV or HBO Max from abroad or be able to watch region lock content from other countries while at home. If you want to access content that is region locked outside of your geographical area, you need to select a server in that country. If you're a gamer, a VPN could be beneficial for privacy, but running a VPN while gaming might also reduce your internet speed and performance. Like many VPN providers, ExpressVPN has apps for all your devices and can run on your desktops, TVs, routers, mobile phones, and browsers using a simple email setup link. If you don't want to install a full-fledged VPN, many providers, including ExpressVPN, have browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers for easy access. Some VPNs, and this includes ExpressVPN, offer additional privacy and security features like ad and tracker blockers. For example, ExpressVPN's advanced protection allows you to block trackers, malicious sites, ads, and adult sites under parental controls. Next are protocol settings, offering different combinations of speed, encryption, and reliability. Many VPNs, including ExpressVPN, have an automatic VPN protocol option, which typically prioritizes the fastest speeds. But you can choose a protocol of your choice. And depending on your VPN provider, you may be able to access different specialty servers. For instance, some VPN providers offer Tor over VPN or double VPN servers, which makes it even harder to trace your internet activity back to your machine. Double VPN servers use two VPN connections instead of just one, while Tor over VPN servers use Tor or the Onion routing to improve privacy even further. Because Onion over VPN and double VPN servers are normally noticeably slower than traditional single connection VPN hop, we recommend those for folks with serious privacy needs rather than for streaming, gaming, and general web browsing. VPNs may also offer P2P or streaming optimized servers. So if you need to torrent, you should use P2P servers and using streaming optimized servers may help you unblock region restricted content. It's worth noting that not all VPNs offer P2P optimized servers, but those that don't often still allow for torrenting. Now let's talk pricing. All VPNs have different features and subscription prices. Purchasing an annual plan gives you the greatest savings with the least amount of risk. You'll typically pay less than if you sign up for a monthly plan without the potential downsides of a multi-year subscription. If you're on a two plus year plan and your VPN company has a data breach, gets acquired by a shady organization, 
application or begins to have slower server speeds or just doesn't work like it used to. You'll either need to wait it out or switch to a new VPN provider in the middle of your subscription, which isn't the most cost effective. There are also free VPNs like Proton VPN, Windscribe, and TunnelBear, but they usually have limitations like data caps, slower speeds, limited servers, and restrictions on streaming. The only free VPN we recommend enthusiastically is Proton VPN, which while limited in how it lets you connect, doesn't bombard you with ads or sell your user data like many free VPNs do. Make sure to check out our best VPN list to see which VPN might be best for your needs. And finally, let us know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks for using a VPN and make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one from How To Do It All. Thanks for watching.